Okay, so first thing we'll look at then is the setup. As we said, what we want to try to ensure we don't want the club going at the back of your forearm. Okay. There. okay. Ideally, you want the forearm and the club to be a bit more in line. Okay. It just helps keep that wrist a yeah. little bit yeah. less active. If we look at this swing now where you're swinging the club, as the club goes back here on the left, if we look at the line that ball is going on there, okay, as you hit the golf ball, it goes a lot left of that, you see. Yeah. There's quite a bit of twist there with that club face. Yes. Which is going to cause the inconsistency of shot. That strike wasn't too bad. This putt was only 10 foot, so the swing's yeah. not that long. Yeah. As the swing would get longer and longer and longer, the ability to miss hit it's going to increase, okay. obviously, because you're making quite a big sort of arc there okay. with the putter. So keep everything so it kept thinking, Yeah, I mean, it'd be worth practicing with that club, just holding the club. Yeah. I like that soft elbow. Don't lock your arm. Yeah, yeah, your yeah, arm yeah, yeah. get too high. Just soft elbow and get that in that position. There. So it's more your wrist angle here, and then you can put your left hand on. Yeah. So it's all. It just helps that club. So the yeah. second you get underneath here, it's all yeah. potential for wrist. And once the wrists start coming in, that is going to create a bit more of the arc in that we don't want. If we look at this one here now, eye line for me is great. Your eyes are over the ball there, nicely. So a good start position there. As the club goes back now, we can see as you swing through, the ball is going much more on the line. There's a lot less twist with that club face. The yeah. putter and the ball now are in line. As we look at this one here now, that ball's gone yeah. left quite quickly. Okay, yeah. and This is the one obviously that followed and tracked on the way through towards the hole and then disappeared in the hole. So a nice putt there. So we can get yourself over the ball a little bit more, get yourself in a more upright wrist position okay. so the shaft and the club are more in line with your forearm, not underneath. Mm. And then I think just trying in the habit of thinking about more of a swing of the putter as opposed to a hit. Mm. A hit is always tough to judge. Yes. And if you get tappy on it, I've seen 10, 12 foot putts are okay. Long putts are tough to judge. Yeah. The three or four foot, you get a bit, yeah. a bit twitchy. You know, because uh, hitting the ball is more like kicking or like yeah. tennis where you hit the ball. Exactly. And I saw this uh, Snedeker, Snedeker. Snedeker, yeah, Brant Snedeker. Snedeker. Yeah, yeah. Who hits the ball. Yeah. And he has all this theory that hitting the ball might be. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's lots of different ways to do anything. I thought just passing yeah. I mean, But I as you say, it's nice if you. Um, Change from now from then because exactly. it keeps it. Uh, it keeps it fresh. It, it keeps it I mean, interesting. If we, if we give anybody a brand new golf club, a new driver, for example, we call it the honeymoon effect. You've got a new club and you're like, wow, it feels lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First month is awesome. Yeah, and the club could be technically wrong for you, but yeah. you'll just play a new pair of golf. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And after the first few months, they always keep them nice and clean after every game of golf, and then. A few months go by, I'll oh, just tap them in the back of the car and <laughs> they kind of go back to what they were the other day. And then the honeymoon is over. Exactly, <laughs> it's back to reality, yeah. So I think just changing things with your pattern. I would change too much, we're just changing maybe your little finger down here might go down the shaft, or might this sort of that finger here might go down there, or might yeah. tuck underneath, or just move the ball yeah, yeah, forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little thing, just yeah, so yeah. you know there's a change that's occurred. But it's not a massive change. Yeah. Okay, so it's still kind of the same technique. But in your yeah. head, oh, just move the ball forward, just move the ball back a bit. Yeah. Just to, for me, getting the same principles of the same setup back and forth, getting this forearm in a better position is going to be the key thing. Okay. okay, and if we can work on them more of a, a swing of the putter, okay. ideally, you want to try to sort of the way to look at it. If I said you had a, I don't know, a kid's trailer with a handle, if we were to try and pull the handle and get the trailer to go straight, that'd be a lot easier than if we try to push it or hit it. If you hit okay. the handle, it would just go all over the place. Yeah. There'd be no control. Grab the handle and pull it through. So okay. you're going to be sort of pulling these arms through, keeps that club face a little okay. bit straight. Okay, does and that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Perfect. And aiming for the area of the hole, not the hole itself. Just yeah, you can do. I think for me, I'm more on the sort of I had to try and pick a small, tiny target to aim for, but my expectations are quite big. Okay. So from 20 foot, I think like a three foot dustbin yeah. and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm aiming for a blade of grass behind the hole. Okay. So I literally make a small little target. And then if you miss that target, you've got that three foot. Okay. If you aim for three foot and you miss that three foot. And, well, and, and what about the, um, this new rule now? Flag in or flag out? I'd well, rather have the flag in me, personally. Uh, if you ask, they reckon, I mean, Bryson DeChambeau, they reckon, is the doctor of golf, and he knows more about golf than anybody, I think, in the entire world. And what he doesn't know about golf is, is, that? is it Bryson DeChambeau, the guy with the same length clubs? He's very, very scientific and very technical. Brian? Bryson DeChambeau. B Y the He's a pro. He's a pro. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know him. Google Bryson the Shambo. Yeah, yeah. The stuff he took. He is putting with a flag in the whole time. Excellent. So what he says, I would say, is correct. however, from a personal standpoint, I've always felt the flag being in the hole makes the hole smaller. Yeah. Because something's in the way. 
I mean, yeah, but it's not a, a goal. Of, a goal with a goalkeeper or goal without a goalkeeper. Oh, come on. That's my kind no, of thing. No, Gareth, because the, the, the problem of the ball not getting in the hole is not the size, it's where the ball is. It's to some extent, yeah. I've seen in my... Again, this is personally... I don't say it's right or wrong. I've seen more shots of mine hit the flag and jump out. Had the flag not been there, the ball would have gone in. The ones that would have missed it's the because, whole flag out and gone in with the flag. It's because yeah. you are such a good putter that exactly. you're, you're going with <laughs> okay, exactly. I have not, so I'm aiming All for the yeah. stick. I did put the flag behind the hole on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so I, th- I think with this, I think for me, it just having played for 30 years with the rule where you count the flag in, hold, having a putt from three yeah, foot with a flag in would just seem yeah, so yeah, yeah, strange. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that, that's. I think from 25 foot, I probably wouldn't notice it. To be fair. Yeah. But tapping in from three foot, I think the flag, yeah. just don't, having to see a, a six foot stick there just would yeah. look wrong. So yeah, yeah. I'm always going to say now from now yeah. on, from the short ones especially, or certainly putts I would look to hold. So 10, 12 foot and in, I guess, yeah. the flag would be out for me. Okay. If I had a 50 foot putt and I was going to putt up, yeah, it yeah. wouldn't matter. So yeah, I think for me, but again, whatever you do, it doesn't matter. I mean, Bryson yeah, yeah. DeChambeau says flag in and he's been right with yeah. most things scientific. So no, I'm not going to go against when him. When I first started, I used to go around on my own. Yeah. And when I went out of the world, I wouldn't bother taking the flag yeah, in. Oh, gotcha. so yeah, I'm exactly. used to yeah, exactly. the flag Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So if it, if, and that's part of the reason why they put that rule in place to speed up play. Yeah. To stop having to say the flag out, put the flag back in, yeah. flag in, flag out, all these different extra and things. And also, so. sometimes, if it's a short putt, mm-hmm. I'm not worried about if I, I, I'm aiming for the stick, really for yeah. the stick. And I say, if I hit the stick, it's going to stop. Yeah. It's not going to go all over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think your expectations on putting as well, sometimes you can hit a perfect putt and miss. Okay? Green's just indentation yeah. or whatever, or something's happened where the ball has just missed. Yeah. There's a study done by Dave Peltz, who's a scientist from his background. He had a, He's made a machine that hits a perfect putt, where it literally hits every single putt. If you the say, same. okay, hit 20 foot in a 20 foot putt every yeah, single yeah, yeah. time and he set up on a green on a perfectly mown green in the morning not a single foot but on there since the green yeah. keepers had cut it down 20 foot putt hit 100 putts all 100 boom in the hole yeah. every single one with yeah. a bit of break on them okay he went out in the afternoon after the tournament had been played so 50, 60, 70 pros their caddies yeah. all the guys on there a few hundred footprints on the same putt same spot hit the same 100 putts, hold 35. Okay. With a machine that hits yes, a perfect exactly. putt. So expectations are, can you start the ball online? Yeah. Can you strike it properly and roll it? Yes, if you've done that, the rest is up to the golfing gods. So don't beat yourself up sometimes if you miss yeah. a four or five footer, because no, hey, no. it could hit an indentation and miss off. But yeah, forearm a little bit, or wrist angle a bit higher, get the arm and the club will more in line. I will send this through to you most definitely. You want me to yeah, send exactly. you